Hi, this is Carrie Nesha with the Minnesota Master Naturalists. Climate change is having a big effect on the trees in the Northwoods Great Lakes biome of Minnesota. It may not seem like it today, but our winters are warming fast and the absence of those really cold temperatures of yesteryear mean that we are seeing increasing threat to our trees from invasives and illnesses like the needle cast that is affecting this spruce. Emerald ash borer is also another big threat to our trees. This black ash is the sole survivor on our street. 13 white ash were cut down last year because of emerald ash borer. These are tangible indications of climate change right here in my neighborhood. The warmer and wetter conditions that are predicted mean many of the iconic types of trees that are beloved in Minnesota won't likely persist 50 years from now, like this white pine. So what can we do to help the forest? One way is called assisted forest migration. I'm in St. Paul today, but what is happening here is indicative of what we will see quickly moving north and into the north woods. Climate adaptation practices are how we can best help. Assisted forest migration is already being practiced by the St. Paul Forestry Team, as well as the DNR and the U.S. Forest Service. It means propagating and planting seedlings of tree species that will have the best chance of thriving in a warmer and wetter overall environment. Last year, 13 trees were cut down on my street alone due to the emerald ash borer. Rather than replant a singular tree species that has been typical to this area, the forestry team planted a variety of tree species and many that we'd normally see much further south, such as this Kentucky coffee tree. Red oak, maple, and three different varieties of disease-resistant elm are all now residents of this street. While I love the spruce and pine in my neighborhood, their days are likely limited. When choosing what trees to plant next, I urge you to be climate forward and choose species that will have the best chance of thriving into the future.